Good morning, everybody. I would like to uh, welcome you to the 64th annual meeting of the Society for Vascular Surgery. The next recipient of the SBS Lifetime Achievement Award is one of the few vascular surgeons whose name has become an adjective because of his lifetime contributions to our specialty. Although early in his surgical career, he was one of the pioneers in lung transplantation, the specialty of vascular surgery was lucky that our recipient quickly focused his career on our specialty where he, his initial contributions were in lower extremity revascularization. He stressed the importance of aggressive revascularizations through careful preoperative planning and meticulous and often challenging surgical. His goal of aggressive limb salvage has become standard practice. Through his lectures and his emphasis on the independent role of vascular surgeons in all aspects of our patient's management, he played a central role in the evolution of vascular surgeon's role in endovascular treatment. He was the first to establish a program for endovascular aortic aneurysm repair in North America. And from his experience, insight, leadership, he convinced us that endovascular techniques would radically change the nature of our specialty. He showed us that we would integrate endovascular treatment into the armamentarium of the vascular surgeon, not just for the treatment of aortic aneurysms, but also for management of other aneurysmal as well as occlusive disease. His CV boasts over 690 peer-reviewed publications, and his list of countless honorary lectures, visiting professorships, invited presentations, abstracts, books, book chapter, invited commentaries, and opinion pieces is quite telling. He is highly regarded and respected by his peers, nationally and internationally. It is so voluminous that I received his CV in five parts, each attached to a separate email. And I had to put them all together over the weekend. Our recipient's name is associated with the most famous meeting in vascular surgery and intervention. It provides vascular specialists with the opportunity to learn what is on the cutting edge of our specialty. It's always an honor to be invited to speak at his meeting. His address as the 50th president of this society in 1996, entitled Charles Darwin and Vascular Surgery, was prophetic, predicting that the majority of vascular procedures will be performed with endovascular means. And for this reason, it is prob probably the most cited presidential address ever given. Our recipient graduated from Cornell University Medical School with honors before completing an internship at Columbia Presbyterian Hospital in New York and his surgical residency training at the then Peter Bent Brigham Hospital and Harvard Medical School. He, he has worked tirelessly over the years for the benefit of the field at every level. Indeed, he has greatly strengthened vascular surgery by his talent, creativity, persistence, and leadership. I'm proud as the president of this society to bestow the SVS Lifetime Achievement Award upon Dr. Frank Beat. Frank. Thank you so much. Frank. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Tony. <clears throat> For my entire career, I've regarded the SVS as the preeminent vascular organization in the world. So for me, it is the most singular honor to receive this award from the SVS. What I've been able to accomplish is due largely to the work and support of others. These others include not only my wife, Carol, and my non-physician associates, Jackie, Julie, and Jamie, but also my trainees and partners. Over the years, many are already leaders in vascular surgery. I was fortunate to work with these colleagues, and they all taught and enriched me. Long after my papers, books, and talks will be forgotten, these men and women will be well known in vascular surgery, and they are my lasting legacy. Now a word about vascular surgery and its future. Fortunately, vascular surgery recognized the endovascular revolution in time and embraced it with vigor. Because of that, the future for vascular surgery is bright, 
We have evolved rapidly in a way that makes our specialty interesting, challenging, and attractive. Clinical and research opportunities are everywhere. We should be able to attract the best and the brightest as our future trainees and partners. We must strive to be the complete and most responsible vascular specialists who only perform procedures which truly help patients. And we vascular surgeons should be able to achieve the best outcomes to help us survive and prosper in this competitive and challenging world. However, the survival of vascular surgery will only be assured by having vascular surgeons continue to innovate and evolve rapidly, as we've done in the past. I encourage you all to keep doing these things to the max. Thank you so much for this award. Congratulations, Frank. It's uh, a very well-deserved award. You have been an inspiration to me and to countless other people. And I cannot think of anybody who deserves this award more than you do. Thank you for everything. Congratulations, Dr. Veith, on your Lifetime Achievement Award from the SVS. You're certainly well-deserving of that award. You've been a leader uh, in our society and certainly a strong mentor to myself uh, and helped me along in my own personal career. Thank you very much and congratulations. Congratulations, Dr. V, for an award that is certainly most deserved. Uh, you have been a mentor of mine and an outstanding leader, and uh, we look forward to continued uh, success uh, and innovation from you because I certainly know you are not about to stop. Take care.